Okay, nested select statements. So, as it turns out, we can uh, actually put a query inside another query, uh, which we call nested, as you can see there in the uh, write-up. So, here we want to take this select distinct that we just created, but we want to display the most 100 recently added updated cu updated customers, first name, last name. So we're going to do a distinct on the added and updated customers that we did. So we're basically going to kind of combine the last two that we just did. All right, so let's go back to Azure Data Studio. All right, so now, because I'm going to use this query, I'm just going to drop it down there a little bit. All right, so we'll do a select the top 100. And we want the first name, last name, and modified date. from, and now I'm going to put that other select distinct, and I'm actually going to just bring this down another row just to make it very clear what we're doing. So from, and then we're going to do this select distinct and we're going to rename this select distinct as customers. And then we'll go ahead and order this by a modified date. Descending. Now, because I'm ordering by my modified date, I don't necessarily need to order by last name in this nested query anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that just to save a little bit of processing time. All right, so select the top 100, first name, last name, modified date from, and then this nested select where I select the first name, last name distinct, and then uh, rename that customers. And then we order by the modified date and let's give it a run and see how we get how we do. Ah, so I did not give the modified date column. I did not add the modified date column to the nested select. So I'm going to have to add that now. Otherwise, uh, because before I did that, I'm trying to ask for a modified date from this query that doesn't have modified date in it. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, run that. And now I get my most recently modified customers, but just one of each. So now I've got the distinct and I've got 100 rows. And if I were to comment out the top 100 again, like I've done before, I should get my, <laughs> I should get the 441 total number of customers that we had before. All right, so run that. Yeah, 441. So those are 441 distinct customer names in reverse order of the date they were modified. All right, so that is a nested query and you can nest queries within queries. So it's one of those where you can uh, recurse your queries as much as you want. Uh, it can get a little bit complicated to keep track of if you try and do that, though. Let's go back to the module and see what to do next.